Hello everybody. On this video, I will show you how to create an ISO file or a bootable USB drive of Windows Recovery or Windows Image using deployment and imaging tools environment. We can summarize the steps as followings. Step 1, downloading the required files and add-ons. Step 2, creating a working folder of Windows PE files. Step 3, customizing Windows Media. And in step number 4, you will see how to create a bootable media which could be either an ISO file or a bootable USB drive. Let's starting with first step to show you how to install ADK and Windows PE add-ons. Download the ADK setup file and then start it. Select install Windows assessment and deployment kit to this computer option and then click next to continue. Click accept option to continue. Click install to start download and installation processes. After installing the ADK, download ADK Win PE setup file and start it. Follow the setup wizard instructions to install Windows pre-installation environment toolkit. For more details about installing the ADK and ADK Windows PE add-on, watch the video from description below. Download the ISO file of Windows 10 or Windows 11 according to the installed edition in your computer. Download the 7zip x64 app and then install it. The links to all required files and tools are available in video description below. Step 2, how to create a working folder of Windows PE files. Type deployment into search box and then start the deployment and imaging tools environment as an administrator. Execute the following command to create a working copy of the Windows PE files. Copy amd 64 c colon backslash winpe underscore amd64. You can replace the C with another partition letter if you want. How to customize Windows PE. There are many customizations that can be done to the Windows image, such as, adding an update, adding a video or network driver and many more customizations, however, on this video you will learn how to customize the type of boot file either by adding a file of full Windows installation or just a file of a recovery image. But if you want to create a simple ISO image of Windows PE without modification, execute the shown command directly. Also to create a bootable USB drive of Windows PE without customization, connect a USB drive to your computer and then execute this command. After customizing the Windows image, you can either create an ISO image file or create a bootable USB directly. In both cases, the created media could be either a full Windows image for installation or just a recovery image. To create a recovery image using the winre.wim file, do the followings. Right click the ISO file of installed Windows and then select mount option. Run command prompt as administrator. Change the CMD path to the installation path of 7zip app using this command. Extract the winre.wim image from mounted ISO image of Windows to the working folder using this command. Also you can copy the winre.wim file from Windows partition or from recovery partition using one of the following commands. Delete boot.wim file using this command. Rename winre.wim to boot.wim using this command. If you want to create a Windows installation media with single edition, extract the desired edition from mounted ISO image to the working folder using the shown command. The number 6 on the command indicates that the Windows Professional is the extracted edition. Unlike when using winre.wim file, you should not delete the boot.wim file when using install.wim file. If you want to create a Windows installation media with all editions in the ISO file, copy install.wim file to the working folder using this command. Step number 4, how to create a bootable media of either a USB drive or ISO file. Execute this command to create an ISO file of customized media. Notice that this command as well as the next command are to be executed using deployment and imaging tools environment and not from command prompt. As you can see, the ISO file created successfully. This ISO file could be either a recovery image from winre.wim file, or a full Windows installation media with install.wim file based on the customization in step number 3. To create a bootable USB from customized media, do the followings. Connect a USB drive to your computer. Execute this command to create a bootable USB flash drive directly. Replace the J with the letter of the USB flash drive in your computer. All data on the USB drive will be lost after this operation, so take a backup copy of important files before starting. 
the created USB drive also could be either a recovery image or a full Windows installation media, based on the customization in step number 3. If you have any question related to creating an ISO file or a bootable USB, add your question in a comment, or read the video description or the associated topic from VM Tech's blog to see if there is any update related to your question. Also you can use the automatic batch file to create a bootable USB or an ISO file automatically. The link to the video with auto batch file is available in description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a comment and subscribe.